is Chelsea and today I want to talk to you about propagating fiddle leaf figs. I don't know what I've done but I have created like a hoarding situation for baby fiddle leaf figs and I'm going to show you how I did it. So before we get too far into the video, I want to say that today's video is sponsored in a way. This company has sent me a humidifier that is really, really cool. I've had humidifiers like that one right there in my house all winter. This humidifier that I was sent recently is just blows it out of the water. It's so cool. The way that this like sponsorship worked is that they sent me a humidifier. They did not pay me anything. They wanted me to review it and give you my honest opinion about it. And honestly, this humidifier is great. I totally recommend it. I got a thing, I think a 5.5 liter humidifier. I think that's the one of the sizes that I chose, but I will link their website in the description. They have a bunch of different sizes if you wanna check them out. Because it's so big, I don't have to fill it up all the time and I can just leave it with my plants and trust that it will just make them feel so much better. That's one of the things that has completely saved my plants' lives over this past winter. The heat in my house, the heater, dries out the air so badly that it is literally painful sometimes. So it was really nice to have a humidifier that I knew was keeping their leaves nice and wet and the air was moist for them and they were really, really happy. This humidifier is really cool because you can adjust the level of humidity that you want in your house. Usually over by the plants, I keep it up pretty high at like 65, 70%. So it's just constantly spouting out water. And then the fact that it comes with a remote is really cool because I can adjust like if the medium, low, or high setting, humidity level, and then there's a temperature control. If you want it to shoot out warm mist or cold mist, there's a sleeper mode. There, there's like so many options on this humidifier, but it is extremely easy to use. And I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there before we got too far in. I really, really recommend a humidifier if you are a plant person. Stick it in the corner with all your plants and just watch how well they do. So be sure to check them out in the link in my description. They are really cool and they have some seriously quality products. I tested this for about two weeks before I made this video and um, I, I definitely stand by their humidifiers. All right, without further notice, let's just get into the rest of this video. Okay. So this is a fiddle leaf thing. This is the first one that I got. Um, one of you guys sent it to me actually off my Amazon wish list and I am so, so grateful for it. Um, this dude's doing really well. Kind of hard to show you, but you see all those like lighter color leaves? It looks like there's like four of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. This dude has six new leaves. So. He's doing really well ever since he moved in. It hasn't even been that long, but let me show you what I've gotten off of him. Okay, I'm gonna put him down because he's a little heavy. So fiddle leaf figs are becoming one of the, the most popular house plant right now. I think they look really cool. They've got these huge leaves, these huge dark green leaves that kind of like face upward. And the cool thing about fiddle leaf figs is that you can shape them in so many different ways. Eventually, they'll grow into huge trees if you want them to inside of your house. I'll show you a picture right here. But as I was saying, you can kind of groom them to grow in so many different shapes. So you can have this kind of tree that I just showed you, which is just like leaves all the way up, letting them go. And then I've got another fiddle leaf fig that's pretty big that has like a couple of shoots coming off. So instead of just like one stem with a bunch of leaves, he's got a couple of different stalks with a bunch of leaves. So he looks more like full and like bushier. And then there's other ones, I'll insert pictures here, that you can kinda take the leaves off as they grow and just leave the top very bushy so it looks more like a tree. But once they get huge, they look like trees no matter what. So they're becoming really popular house plants and I'm gonna tell you a little bit how to propagate them today. So there's two different ways that I have propagated fiddle leaf figs. I'm not sure if there's other ways. These are the two ways that I did it and I wanted to share that with you. When I first got my fiddle leaf fig, there were a couple babies growing underneath. And I believe my other fiddle leaf fig 
has babies growing underneath. So I will, let me show you that first. So this is my other Philly fig in my bathroom. You can see at the bottom, he has many different stalks. And these are little babies growing down there. So when I first got my fiddle leaves from the store, they had a couple of babies growing. And so I took those babies out and put them in their own pots. So here are a couple of those. Everything on this, except for this, this, and this, everything on here is a fiddle leaf fig. So you see that you've got these ones growing here. You've got this little dude right there got a couple leaf propagations um, and I'm gonna show you how I did those. And then I believe I have this dude over here and this guy here and this guy here who's starting to get some leaves. So propagating fiddle leaf fig figs was a huge experiment for me. I've never had a fiddle leaf fig. I just started like going at it. So the reason that a couple of those little dudes look a little Iffy is because they're trying to get their health back now. I underwatered them when I first put them into soil because I had read somewhere that fiddle leaf figs don't need like a ton of watering. And so I went by that and I, I messed up. Um, they ended up losing some leaves. This guy right here that I have, you can see his leaves on him are like dry out here from where I was underwatering him and his leaves were like totally facing down. They were really floppy and not good. He did not look good. I started watering him more and then his leaves started facing upwards again and then they stopped drying out and turning brown. So we're gonna see what happens with him. I'm really cheering for him. The background of that is so cluttered that you can't see. So we're really cheering for this dude. If you have a fiddle leaf tree, you can take off like the first couple inches of stem off the top of him and make sure that you leave like two or three leaves on there. So this cutting is, as you can see, it's got a stem on it. And this one I actually took a stem cutting from stuck it in some water with some growing hormone and this is what we have it's been about three weeks as i've said and i'm about to plant this one too this is obviously not a fiddle leaf fig this is a golden pothos that i'm propagating but you can stick the entire stem into something like this without soil but yeah they will grow their own roots for you completely in water and then once they're roots are kind of established, maybe like four or five inches long, you can go ahead and transfer him into soil. And then if you happen to take a cutting that has more than two or three leaves, because the reason you wanna take some of the leaves off, leaves off is because they are going to try to be establishing roots and all of their energy is going to go into trying to establish roots. So you don't want them to try to maintain all their leaves because that requires too much energy for them and then they probably won't grow roots and then your propagation will fail. Make sure you only give them enough leaves that they can sustain themselves while at the same time building their own new root system. What do you do when you take off some of the leaves? What is really interesting, I didn't know that you could propagate fiddly figs from just the leaves and not like a stem cutting, but I wanted to do the experiment so I stuck these leaves with like the bottom inch in water after putting some rooting powder on them. And it's been about three weeks, I'd say, and these have roots now. So I'm gonna plant these and uh, see if they grow. They should grow, cause they've got, they've got whole roots now. Cut them off diagonally right at the stem or break them off of the stem really close to the stem and then stick that in rooting powder this is the kind of rooting powder i use i got it off of amazon and i'll link it below it's the garden safe take root rooting hormone i literally just stick the end of the cutting or the end of the leaf in there and then i stick them in a bowl of water so after they grow roots you can go ahead and transfer them to soil i put mine in these little tiny cups because I know that they'll grow eventually and move out of these. So I don't spend a whole lot of money on nice like nursery pots, if you will, like growing pots. This dude is doing well. His leaves were like totally down when I first was doing him because he, I was underwatering him and then I started feeding him new water and now his leaves are starting to face up and he used to actually have a stick that he, that helped him stand. But now he's standing on his own. He's developing his own roots 
and yeah, this is a baby fiddle leaf fig tree. As far as the leaves, you take off, stick the ends of them in rooting hormone too, and then put them in a bowl just like you would a cutting with just water in it, no soil. Make sure the end of the leaf is an inch underwater. Leave it out in the sunlight for a couple of weeks and you will get something like this. So this is a leaf that has rooted. As you can see, I had him sitting in a bowl of water just like out like this with water in it for a couple of weeks and now he has his own root system. We are going to plant him today. Um, you could wait for the roots to get a little bit longer than this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and plant him for video purposes to show you guys. So I bought a ton of little nursery plants, about a hundred of them. Um, I believe these are like three and a half inches wide or four inches. Um, but I will link these in the description below. These are some of the best like little nursery plants I've gotten just because they have so many drainage holes already in there. The plastic's really thin and they're cheap. I think I got a hundred of them for like $13. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my cup with dirt and then I'm going to make a little hole for him to sit in. And then I will just stick him in there. Since he's so used to being in water full time, he is going to, you know, you kind of have to acclimate him to not having water um, every single day because he's in soil now. So water him immediately to encourage the roots to continue to spread and find a home and find nutrition in the soil. And then I leave him in the sink to drain out and then I make him a label. So because all of this is still an experiment to me, I have been labeling everything that I do and labeling the dates that I plant them. So it is March 14th right now. So I went ahead, I messed up a little bit, but March 14th, 2020, fiddle leaf, and then I'll stick that. So we'll stick that in just like this. Here's a couple more that I had in the sink. This dude is, um, I didn't cut a bunch of leaves off of him. I water propagated him and then just planted him in soil today. So I didn't cut, you know how I said earlier, make sure that they only have like two leaves so that they can develop a root system. I left four leaves on this dude as an experiment and none of them are drying out, but you can see how the leaves are all facing down. Hopefully, <clears throat> as his root system establishes a little bit more, he'll have the strength to kind of lift his leaves up again, like this dude is starting to. And then one day he can be a big boy like this one. Just so you guys know, I did start a little shop on Instagram if you guys are interested in any of the plants that I propagate. It's Glass Hatch, I'll put it right here on the screen. Go ahead and check me out over on Instagram there. And thank you guys for watching this video. I think that concludes everything. That's all the information I have for you and I will keep you posted. But subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in plants or anything, definitely subscribe. But if you're also interested in hashtag van life, I am in the process of building out a van right now to sell to somebody who wants to live out on the road. I lived as a nomad for three years of my life and I think that it's such a good and humbling experience. So I'm building out a van so that somebody else can do the same thing. All right guys, that's everything for today. Go check out the humidifier company that sponsored this video. They are really, really great and I will see you guys in the next one.